School bus driver set to strike today in Marlboro, leaving students to find a different way to get to school. Now, this comes despite late night contract negotiations and two other communities where drivers are opting to stay on the job for now. Nick Giovanni is live in Marlboro with the details. Nick. Well, I can tell you on the drive over, we passed by road signs warning many students walking to school. That is expected to be the case within the next hour or two with bus drivers heading to the picket line. Just a few of them out here at this hour right now. The superintendent telling me this will be a whole community effort to get kids to school safely today as the bus driver union, Local 170, and their employer, NRT Bus Company, negotiate. As students who live within a mile and a half of their school being told they're expected to walk to class outside of a mile and a half, going to have to be dropped off. Now, there may be a limited number of buses, the district says, prioritizing areas with a high concentration of students. Now, this is what the union had to say Sunday ahead of the strike. They're not only not respecting their employees, but they're not giving them the fair wage that they deserve to do it. A statement from the bus company NRT reads in part, in preparation for the possibility of a strike, NRT has developed a comprehensive strike mitigation plan working closely with the school district and in conjunction with the RMV, DOT, and Department of Education to mitigate the adverse impact the strike will have on students in Marlboro. Now, similar strikes averted over the weekend in Framingham and in Westboro. For now, Framingham's mayor announced the deal had been reached in Westboro. No deal yet, but also no strike as talks do continue in that case. Live in Marlboro, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.